Thank you. If we can now move on to the Monday section for a few questions, please. Gregor, you know, the first game you won, the second you only lost the three. I mean, regardless of how good or bad, good France were, I mean, how disappointing is it to lose by that margin? Yeah, Rob, it's very, look, it's very disappointing. I think we've we've shown over the last couple of years that we've we've either won games or we've lost them uh, by close margins. Uh, so it's it's obviously disappointing to lose it by more. But to be honest, whether we lost by a point or, or twenty points, it it doesn't change things too much. Like our, our goal is to win the game, and to win the game, you you've got to got to take your opportunities. Uh, when you get them, and then it becomes a different game. Be, the, the, the opposition have to do something different, um, and that's not what happened today. That's not taking the opportunities. France getting those tries either side of half time made it a, a very hard game to win. Uh, and yeah, the scoreline is probably extended as we were were chasing things in that second half, um, chasing it from too deep at times. Uh, so yeah, I'm not. I'm not not too worried about how the scoreline um, got away from us. It's more making sure that we, we work out ways to win the games. A lot of Scottish fans, Gregor, including me, thought this could be Scotland's year. I mean, how disappointing is it to for it to be over after three games in terms of a championship challenge? Yeah, very disappointing. Like we, we go into every championship with aspirations of, of winning each game we, we play against and been in the mix as you go into the last two weeks, and despite the uh, the result in, in Cardiff, we we still had an opportunity today to to be in the mix if we'd won, but but we haven't, and it's it's over to other teams to challenge for that that title now. So it's we know it's a it's a huge tournament, uh, the, the Six Nations, and we still have two important games to to improve and to show what we're capable of. But uh, you're right, it's disappointing that we're not going to be involved in any of the, the title race uh, as you go into the last fortnight. Cheers, Gregor. Thank you. Any more for a Monday section? Yeah, Gregor, can I ask a question, please? Sorry. Of course. Gregor, can I ask, uh, you were quite adventurous with your selection for the Italy game last year, being uh, Stuart at 10 and another, another number of changes. Are you looking to do that again, or are you just looking for your strongest possible 15? Yeah, pro probably as strong as possible. Fifteen. I, last year, obviously, Stuart played because because Finn wasn't available. Uh, but we'll we'll look at everybody in terms of performance on uh, today. Who's put their hands up for selection? Who's who's under pressure? Because um, there's players playing uh, outside our squad that are doing well. So we, we'll we've got two weeks to assess that. We 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 know we've got to put our best team out and our best performance to win in Italy, they'll be hugely motivated by the scoreline uh, and France getting tries from our errors today. So we will have to play a lot better next week to, to win that game. And we'll our job as coaches is to, to make sure we believe, we, we select the team we believe will we'll do that. And just a question about Rory Dars as well. Were you happy with the way he played? But Perhaps with him, it's just late call off. He was a bit uh, on his own at the breakdown. Yeah, look, I think we did get a few um, turnovers outside of um, Rory, but Rory was the, the big co contributor in that area. We, we knew that uh, Carl Dixon rewards Jackals. He's, in terms of the stats this season, he's the highest of any referee in world rugby. So it was one reason we, we went into the game with two open sides. And as you saw how the game played out, uh, you were getting rewarded for, for jackals. And at times we, we did well in that area, especially Rory. I thought Rory was outstanding in defence and attack. His ball carrying was really good. Um, and the effort he put in for 80 minutes was, was superb. But defence is not just about jackals and, and winning turnovers at the rack. It's about other things. It's about forcing team back, um, counter-rucking at times, um, getting rips. You saw France got three rips against us in the last 10, 15 minutes. So that's a team thing. Not, not everyone's going to be a jackler, but we've got to make sure as a team we are putting pressure on the opposition ball in defence. Um, and while 
while it was difficult at times because the ball the French caught wasn't just off set piece or off slow face play, it was off turnover. We know we can improve in that area, like, like we can improve in a, an attack. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.